How many of you are perplexed or confused to how to manage your CSAR net life science syllabus within six months? If you have such question in your mind, no worries. I'm here to help you out to know how to manage your CSAR net life science syllabus within six months. So are you ready? Hey Arden learners, this is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. With no more delay, let's get started to the video. So first, let's talk about CSAR Net Life Science Examination Pattern. We know that there are going to be 145 questions. Out of 145 questions, you are going to deal only with 75 questions. And this is going to be a single paper. Only one paper is going to be there. And the duration of the examination is going to be three hours and if we have to talk about the sections there are going to be three sections or we can say three parts it's going to be part a part b and part c part a mainly deals with aptitude whereas part b and part c deals with our subject which is going to be biology or we can say life sciences Part A comprises of 20 questions. Out of 20 questions, you are going to deal only with 15 questions. And for every correct answer, you are going to get 2 marks. And if you make any mistakes, you are going to have a negative marking, which is going to be 0.5 negative in part 1. And if you're going to talk about part B, part B is going to have 50 questions. Out of 50 questions, you are going to deal only with 35 questions and the same goes over here if you're going to write correct ones you are going to get two marks and there's a negative mark of 0.5 and the next comes a very important uh, section which is going to be part c and part c comprises of 75 questions out of 75 questions you are going to deal only with 25 questions and for every correct answer very important you are going to get four marks this is important you're going to get four marks and if you make mistakes, you are going to have one negative marking. So please make sure that you choose proper correct ones. Yes. Okay. So we know that CSAR syllabus is kind of vast. So it's going to have 13 units. But if you ask me a question, do I have to study all the 13 units? No, you don't have to study all the 13 units. So if you concentrate on only 10 units, it's enough. So if you ask me a question, is it enough? Yes. I promised you that I'm going to help you out to manage your CSAR net life science syllabus within six months. So here is the plan that I have for you. You can follow it and you can actually finish off your entire syllabus within six months. So let's look into this. So the first unit is molecules and their interaction relevant to biology, which is really a promising chapter, we can say. So you are going to spend almost two weeks for this chapter which is going to be week one and week two this chapter deals mainly with your metabolisms or amino acids or protein conformations and all those things so please stick on to this chapter for almost two weeks the next unit is going to be cellular organization this chapter also you are going to concentrate it for two weeks so i have given week three and week four the next chapter is a very promising chapter which is going to be fundamental processes so i have given three weeks for this chapter so you have to concentrate a lot on this chapter so you can little bit take a lot of time for this chapter so i have given three weeks for this chapter three weeks i have given over here so week five week six and week seven you can concentrate on this unit the next unit is going to be cell communication and cell signaling unit and here you can spend almost two weeks for this chapter. It's fine enough to spend two weeks for this chapter. And the next comes another important unit, which is going to be developmental biology. You have to study this a kind of elaborate one. So you can spend almost two weeks for this chapter. So I have given week 10 and week 11 for this chapter. The next unit is system physiology, plant physiology, we can say, which mainly deals with uh, photosynthesis or respiration and hormones and all this thing. So you can almost spend two weeks for this chapter, which is 
week 12 and week 13. The next is going to be inheritance biology. We can otherwise call it as genetics. We can also call it genetics. So you can almost spend two weeks for this chapter. So I've given week 14 and week 15 for this chapter. Let's see to the next one. So here you can see unit 10 ecology. So you ecology you can spend almost one week for this chapter. So I have given week 16 which is only one week I have given for this chapter. So you can concentrate it for one week. The next is going to be evolution. Even for evolution you can spend one week for this chapter. It's fine enough to spend. So I have given week 17 for this unit. The next one is going to be methods in biology. Very important, it has application oriented questions. So you are almost going to spend two weeks for this chapter. So very important, very promising chapter. So till this units, you are definitely going to concentrate a lot on this units. The next three units, I'm going to talk about this in details. So if you have time, you can spend week 20 on unit 7, which is going to be animal physiology, system physiology in animals. Unit 9, diversity of life forms, you can spend for one week, which I've given on week 21. And unit 12 is applied biology, which has very least number of questions. So you can spend almost one week for this chapter. Okay. Next, next question, what are the scoring units or where do I get a lot of direct questions from which unit I'll be having a lot of direct questions from. If you ask me such kind of questions, then the answer is here. Please make a note of it. It's really important, very important. You should always study the second unit, which is cellular organization. Very simple chapter and very, very easy chapter. The next one is going to be unit number four, cell communication and cell signaling. This is also an other promising chapter that you have to definitely study this chapter. Next is going to be unit five, which is going to be developmental biology or we can say embryology. So this is also a chapter where you can score a lot or you can say direct questions will come from this chapter. The next is going to be plant physiology or we can say system physiology in plants. So this is also another scoring unit or you get direct questions from this unit. Very important. The next one is going to be diversity of life forms. In this unit also you are going to get direct questions. It is also going to be a scoring unit. The next is going to be ecology unit 10 and the last is going to be evolution. And these are some of the units which are really going to be direct questions will come from this or we can say it's going to be a scoring chapter. Okay, very important. I told you, you are going to have 13 units. And out of 13 units, you are not going to study 13 units. You are going to spend or you are going to study only 10 units. But I'm going to tell you one thing. You have to study all this unit. Then you can add up any other chapters that according to your wish. So the units which should not be skipped at all during your preparation. Please don't skip any of these units at all. So I'm going to talk about this one. The first is going to be the first unit which is biochemistry. Never ever miss this chapter at any cost. This is a very very important unit. The second one is going to be Cellular organization. This is also a very simple chapter. You should never ever skip this unit also. The next one is going to be unit three, which is going to be fundamental processes, which is really promising chapter, which you have a lot of questions in your part C also. And the next is going to be unit four, which is cell communication and cell signaling. Do not ever miss this chapter during your preparation. The next is going to be inheritance biology, or we can say genetics. The last one which you shouldn't miss during a preparation is methods in biology. It's the most scoring ones which has a lot of application questions. So while preparing, please do not miss any of these units. You have to include these units which means I have given six units. Apart from that, you can add up four units of your choice. So you might be asking me a next question. Can I skip some topics? Can I skip some units? Yes. I told you, you are going to concentrate only on 
10 units. You can skip some units. So I'm going to tell you there are some units where you can actually skip. So the first one is going to be if you're studying system physiology in plants, you can skip system physiology in animals or we can say animal physiology. You can skip this chapter if you don't have time. The next one is going to be diversity of life forms. So this chapter also you can skip or which has very less number of questions we can say and very importantly unit 12 you can skip this one because you are going to get very least number of questions. So the previous topics that I told you or the previous units that I told you you should never skip and these units you can actually skip. Okay the next one is let's talk about why certain units shouldn't be skipped at all. So I'm going to talk about the weightage that you're going to see in all the units. The first one is going to be unit one, which is molecules and their interactions relevant to biology. So in this unit, you will be almost have like four to five questions in part B. And in part C, you'll be having six to eight questions. So it's a very, very promising chapter, I can say. So do not ever skip this chapter, which is very important. The second unit is going to be cellular organization. In part B, you'll be having almost three to four questions. And in part C, you will be having five to six questions. This is also another important chapter, which you should never skip. The next one is going to be fundamental processes very important unit and here you are going to have five to six questions in part B and four to five questions in part C. So this is also another promising unit I can say. The next one is going to be cell communication and cell signaling. You are going to have four to five sorry three to four questions in part B and you are going to have three to four questions in part C. So this is another promising unit I can say. The next one is going to be developmental biology or embryology. You are going to have four to five questions in part B and four to five questions again in part C. So this is also another promising unit I can say. The next one is going to be system physiology or we can say plants. I'm talking about plants, not about animals. So you will be getting five to six questions in part B and five to six questions approximately in part C. The next one is going to be inheritance biology or we can say genetics. In part B, you are going to have four to five questions and in part C, you'll be having again four to five questions. But usually you'll have a lot of questions in part C only. Okay, let's talk about the rest of the units. The next one is going to be ecology. So ecology, if you talk about in case of part B, so it's going to have four to five questions almost and then five to six questions in part C. So this is another important chapter. Evolution, you'll be having three to four questions in part B and four to five questions in part C. Next is the most important chapter I told you. You can literally so see over here. There are a lot of questions in part C. So if you're going to talk about this chapter, this is methods in biology, which talks a lot about the application oriented questions. So here you'll be having five to six questions in part B and nine questions, almost eight to nine or 10 questions in case of part C. Yes, the next is going to be system physiology in case of animals. So I told you these three chapters you can literally skip these three chapters, which I told you it has very least number of questions. So you can see it over here in animals. So in part B, you are going to have three to four questions. And in part C, if you're going to see it over here, you'll be having four to five questions. It's okay if you skip this unit, if you're studying plant physiology. The next is going to be diversity of life forms. In part B, you can literally see over here, it's going to have one loop one to two questions right yes and if you can see it over here it's going to have two to three questions in part c and the last unit is going to be applied biology it's okay to skip this chapter because here also you'll be having very less number of questions so in part b if you can see it over here so it's going to have one to two questions only in part b and in part c two to three questions only so it's okay to skip the last three units and you have to definitely follow the rest of the 10 units so we have understood what are the chapters to concentrate on, what are the chapters that we can skip. So we know that we are going to prepare it for six months. So we are going to prepare 13. So out of that, we are mainly going to concentrate on 10 units. I told you it's for 10 units. 
so our preparation duration is going to be almost 180 days or six months so i have given you a plan for almost six months which is going to be 22 weeks so you are going to prepare for 22 weeks or we can say 132 days so remaining days what you are going to do so how many days are left you can see it over here 48 days are left so during that 48 days you are going to revise all the 10 units that you have studied thoroughly along with that what you're going to do you are going to give or start practicing online mock test for your upgradation right yes so if you're going to follow all these things you can literally finish off your preparation within six months so as simple as it is right yes okay the next comes part a so many might be having this question in your mind what are the things that i have to concentrate on so it is going to be aptitude or we can say mathematics so i have listed out certain topics that you have to concentrate on with the weightages you can see it over here logical reasoning is going to be 25 percent so you can concentrate on this topic the next is going to be geometry is going to be 25 percentage so you have to concentrate on this one the next is going to be probability which is going to be 10 percentage so you can concentrate on this one also the next one is going to be graphical analysis or graph so which is going to be 10 percentage so you have to concentrate on this one number series is also going to be 10 percentage so you can concentrate on this one first and then time and distance is 10 percentage profit and loss is also going to be 5% almost 5% and the rest of the things you can look in for your previous year question paper so these are the topics that you have to concentrate based on your part a which is mathematics okay so we have done all these revisions and what's the next thing that I have to do very important so I told you to revise for the rest of the days revise regularly with realistic timetable i have already given you a timetable you can literally follow that which will be very very helpful and study revise practice online mock test and repeat the same again so while revising i would suggest you to do this please do this while revising make sure to emphasize on the topics strongest point and your weakest areas if you do not know please look back again the next one is very important revise smarter don't overread things instead make flashcards and revise smarter way and then retain better and retain for a long period of time and the final thing you have to recall very very faster that's the most important thing that you are going to do during your six months preparations okay so yes it's time to win the race you are going to compete this exam let's march towards the pinnacle of success so i hope everybody has understood how to prepare this examinations within six months thank you all of you for your time and thank you so much for joining so we'll meet again in the next video if you really like this video please like share and subscribe to biotechnica thank you all of you for joining thank you